are in Gardnerville, Nevada. We're at the Haas Ranch, and um, it's about 55 acres. They've got sheep and ducks. They get cattle in on occasion. Besides the fact that the, the fields are still used for hay and uh, getting some crops off of them that way, mainly the ranch uh, today is used for, for uh, training stock dogs. Well, they've been used here for hundreds of years. They came with the Basque. Primarily the sheep herders, you know, there were much more of a sheep industry here in years gone by. The big flocks, there's still a couple of flocks of 5,000 or so out in the eastern part of the state, Spring Mountains area. You know, we do have quite a cattle population here in the state and they are being used um, for cattle. I got involved in, in going down there when I had uh, Cimarron, my big red male, and um, I had instinct tested him and he tested phenomenally as a puppy and uh, was looking for some place I knew nothing about stock dog training at all at that point. And the recommendation was um, Sandy and, and uh, the folks that were down there at the Haas Ranch. So um, I just, by recommendation, they're pretty much, you know, real well known here in the area. The dogs have to be able to adjust to whatever stock that they're working. You want a dog to be able to rate their stock, meaning what do I have um, and how much pressure do I need to put on it to get it to move. You need a dog that has got some patience because a lot of dogs and some young dogs that they end up growing out of it because they do just learn patience, but we'll get frustrated and then we'll just go in on the stock. Most people, depending on who you train with, most people tend to use the same commands because that's kind of what your instructor's using. But the words themselves don't mean anything as long as you know what they mean and the dog knows what they mean. But primarily people use um, a way means for the dog to go um, counterclockwise around the stock. Uh, go by or come by means for the dog to go clockwise around the stock. Um, you usually have some sort of stop command, whether that's a lie down or a stop. I usually use stop on my dogs. And that'll do. That's an all-important command, which means we're done, come off the stock. Um, the dogs learn the commands verbally fairly quickly. There's more variations in whistles than there are in actual verbal commands because people tend to do what's comfortable for them. The idea is to get them from point A to point B and not fight them the whole way there.